Hello and welcome to a very special Christmas episode of Crazy Board. Today we will be decorating trees and earning points while we play Christmas Tree by Clever Green Games. My name is Brian, and in a moment I will be joined by Jonathan, Justin, and Alyssa. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And what better way to get in the spirit of the holiday season than with some good old-fashioned competitive decorating. Each of us starts the game with eight ornament cards, four objective cards, three cookie cards, and a partridge in a pear tree. Or, rather, a pear tree with nothing in it. We have three rounds to fill it up with ornament cards. In each round, shared objectives picked out by each player from their hands are laid out on the table. Players pick one ornament card to place face down in front of them and simultaneously place it on any blank space on their player board. Then they pass their remaining ornament cards to the player on their left and choose from their new set of cards. The card drafting continues until everyone is down to one card and those last cards are discarded. Ornament cards will have one of three different glass ornaments, a candy, which has its own point value, or a gingerbread, which earns extra points for specified card types placed adjacent to its arms and legs. Objective cards dictate how to group ornament cards to earn additional points. Players can use a Linzer cookie at any time to swap ornament cards on their tree. Otherwise, cards can't be moved once they're placed. Points are tallied according to how many objectives each player completed for the round, and after all three rounds have been completed, final scoring takes place. Which one of us will create the most dazzling beautiful tree? Let's play Christmas Tree. It's tough since I don't know which cards I'm actually going to have right, to yeah. play. Right, Well, I mean, you're going to get two from yeah. that starting pile, maybe. Or, well, definitely, Yeah, right? definitely. But you don't know which ones are going to be left. All right, so uh, for scoring uh, for this round, uh, every candy you have on your board gets you one point, and whoever has the most gets six points. Whoever has the second most gets three points. Mm -hmm. For every completed red bulb, you get three points. For every yellow, you get one point, and for each, uh, for whoever has the most yellows gets six points, whoever has the second most gets three. And then uh, if you have three of, of each, one of each shape on a row, you get six points. Put one down and okay. then just pass. And don't, don't look at your new pile until everybody has placed. Here we go. All right. Hmm. I'm Brian Spangle. This is my third appearance here on Crazy Board. I am the head of Board Watch, where we watch TV shows and play board games that are thematically tied to them. I am a server by day, but I am pursuing an acting career here in LA. Wow, he didn't even have any in this. I know. <laughs> I'm the one who played the yellow card. Yeah. Because I knew I wouldn't have to deal with the non-yellow hand. Huh. Thanks. Yeah. I'm Jonathan Baruch, and I'm an actor. You may have seen me in the Terraforming Mars and Woodlands episodes of Crazy Board. Uh, I guess I'll go that round. Or, yes. Yes. My name is Alyssa Hadfield. And by day, I work at a great little bakery in Atwater Village. And by night, I do theater. I consider myself a jack of all trades in the theatrical world. Anything from acting to set building. Everybody good to go? Mm -hmm. I'm good. Yep. All right, and flip them. I'm behind in the yellow race. I'm Justin Givens. I am an independent filmmaker. You may also recognize me from Dungeness Dorks, the sister show to this program, where I play Trinity the High Elf Rogue, and also from the Terraforming Mars episode in which I came in second place and don't intend to do that again. I'm ready. I'm ready. Good. Ready. Sweet. Okay, okay. Justin's at two. 
Don't you worry about what Justin said. I <laughs> Don't you worry about my tree, all right? You I want to be there. worried, okay? You stay over there in your trash tree. So <laughs> aggressive already. I told you I was coming at the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing red pants, man. I'm angry. What, what does that, that even have to do with it? I'm clearly angry right now, all right? I thought you were just jolly. <laughs> You're just in a state of anger. You're like, just, why did I put on these why? pants? <laughs> So hot right I'm now. just upset now. <laughs> you did this. I was gonna do the ugly sweater thing, but I don't own ugly clothes because I stay fly. Mm, yeah, no, I'm doing that. Mm. Everyone ready? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna have an impartial bulb. <clears throat> this is kind of risky, but whatever. Let's do it. Oh, I guess I flipped a little early. Sorry. How dare you? Got a little, ex got a little excited there. You're full. So in October of 2017, my wife and I went to Essen, Germany, which is where the biggest board gaming convention in the world is held. And we were at a live taping of the Dice Tower, and Tom Vassell recommended this game, Christmas Tree, to us in some small little booth in Hall 8 that no one ever really goes to. And it got me interested. So uh, Jessica and I headed there, and we went to the booth. We sat down with the designer of the game, and we loved it so much that we bought it. And he signed our box for us. Okay. Could have been worse. Kind of worked out. Bro, I'm over here making money moves. <laughs> okay. Listen, I hate losing. Your boy came on here and came just short on terraforming Mars last time. I will not be denied for Christmas tree. All right, I'm coming out on top today. So last time I was with Crazy Board on terraforming Mars, I made a couple of stupid mistakes late in the game that took a couple points away from me. It would have only been enough to get me in second place, uh, and it would have taken a few points away from Jonathan. So I need to play a really good game this time, uh, because second's not good enough. To Brian and Justin, against whom I have played before on Crazy Board, I just want to say no hard feelings. We always start from square one with every game, and I'll win just the same way as I always do. Bro, y'all are snatch, stay snatching the yellows, man. I'm not even kidding. Anymore. Well, I mean, they're all gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, those were two, some of the ones that went quickest. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> uh, I'll rock with this one. Okay. Ooh, and right. flip them. Flippy flip. All right. I've been playing board games since I was a kid. Mostly with my brother, we would play the same game of Monopoly for days on end. I really started getting into some more serious strategic board games though a few years ago with my friend uh, Ashley. She introduced me to great games like Pandemic and it just kind of took off from there. I've been a fool! Yeah, this should have been there and upside down. It's pretty clear. Mm-hmm. It's plain to see. I'm just... Riding by. This gets more points now. This gets more points later. Now. Suspense. <laughs> okay. Right. And flip them. All right. So, uh, for the end of the first round, um, we'll just go top down. So, one point for every candy on your board, so you get three points for orange, and you get one point. Mm -hmm. And then since you have the most candy, you get six more points, so you're up to nine. And Jonathan is the only other one that has them, so that's three points for second place. And we're done scoring that one. Cool. Uh, three points for every completed red bulb. Um, I have two. so I, I also have two. So one, two, I get three, six points. I have four. Oh my have four. god, Alyssa. I have four. No, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Like, that's, what did I do? Uh, no, no, that's... Uh, I'm that's, messing that's, up that's already. Really, no, 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 that's really good. So uh, four times three, that's 12, plus nine is 21. Um, 
And then you said you had two, right? Yes, sir. So six points for blue, so you're up to 10. And Justin's getting on the board with also four. So you're up to 12. Okay. So that Jeez, was... Jeez, you guys. Yeah. That didn't work out. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I put down the completed red bulb scoring card, and I only scored twice on that. So I actually helped other people out more than I helped myself. But I still think I'm all right setting myself up for success in later rounds. So the three of us each get two points for yellows. So orange gets just one point and yep. everyone else gets two points. And then all three and then of us, all get, three six of us get six points because we're tied for first. That's one, nice. Two, kind of funny. Three, four, five, six. And then um, for having three different shapes on the same row, you get six points. I have two circles, two stars, and two honeycombs all in the first row, so I get 12 points. Oh, you well, make nice me very that. upset. Yep. So 14 plus 12 is 26. I did it once. I have, I have choice words for you that I will not <laughs> say here. I have six. It's okay, it's okay. So uh, six points for... One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. And then um, you mm -hmm. said you had one. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So that's orange. So 22, 28. And you didn't have any? Nope. Okay. And that's the first round. Holiday traditions for my family growing up mostly consisted of cinnamon rolls, Christmas morning, and opening presents. It's later graduated as my brother and I have gotten older into including uh, Bailey's Irish coffee into coffee. Um, that's also become a very good tradition. And then as far as board games go for uh, holidays, usually whatever board game my brother and I got for Christmas, we'd rip it open right away and start learning the rules. I only really have one holiday tradition, and that's when I go back to my hometown and I get on the sofa with my sister and my mom, and we watch really old Christmas VHS tapes, including this one kids songs episode which was a show in like the early 90s and there's just this one girl who's a background actor in it and she's so bad and she doesn't know and it's great right. hmm quite nervous wait we can't draft yet <laughs> i have to Play an objective card, because that's yeah. how that game works. Yeah, we kind of need to choose scoring. Sir. Okay. That's my objective card. We're going to go that route. Ugh. Ah, I'm back. Okay, so scoring for round two, we have um, same color and same shape have to be above and below each other. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys want that for orientation. Mm -hmm. um, for each star you have on the board, you get one point, and then whoever has the most stars uh, gets six, and then second place gets three. Okay. Same with circles. So stars and circles are going to be big this round. <laughs> Actually, all the shapes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Just play cards. Just, well, shapes, not gingerbreads yeah. or candies, basically. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well. I mean, I've already got a decent mix of those, so that's all right. Thanks for narrating. <laughs> <laughs> Having the three shape cards come out right after my really hard first round is probably the worst thing that could have happened to me, since I'm going pretty much wrapped candy and gingerbread man heavy. I'm just not going to have many of the other cards. I am so thankful to my three opponents because there are now four cards that are going to help me score this round, so I'm predicting a Justin lead. Yes. That is the one. Is that the one? That's the one. That's the one. Oh, I don't want to mix these up. I don't know. I apologize. All right. Flipping? Yep. Woo! Okay. Oakley, Oakley. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I really wish I were completing more bulbs than I am, but it's just <laughs> not working out. It's tough. Yeah. 
I mean, like, you don't need to worry about bulbs right now. I'm worried I mean, about bulbs, is... Brian. Okay, fine. Be worried about bulbs. That's... You play the game your way. I'm going to play it wrong. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm placing the card now. Did you go? Yes. Yeah. Okily dokily. Yes, you will hear that several times from my mouth <laughs> throughout the course of the night. Ooh, okay. I need these. Again, fascinating. It's important. Okay. Are, are these pine cones? Are they honey they're, cones? They're technically are spirals. Are they rolled up turds? They, like, the game calls them spirals. <laughs> I not, mean, not, technically. Not rolled up turds. Or technically spot. Wait, are we starting the new drafting round? Yeah. I don't know, man. Yes. I'm picking from a hand I'm of five ready. cards. What I'm are you guys done. doing? Uh, yeah. So this is 10 going 11. Yeah. Guys, I'm going to use a cookie. Serious, right? Already? All right. Yeah. Okay. This is trash. What, you want me to use all three in round three? Yes. I don't think so. I'm not playing your game. It, it I is, mean, it is my game. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think that through <laughs> very well. I don't want none of this dude. All right. Okay. Everybody good to place? Aye, aye. Um, yes. All right. Well, let's go. This is good timing. Perfect timing. Well, good for you guys. Thank you. You're welcome. I like to be nice this game. Yeah, that's new for me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good to place. Sure am. Yes, sir. Really? <laughs> what? This is what you handed me. I'm just like. You oh. act like I designed yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't want any of these. Good. I'm already playing with a handicap, Jonathan. I cut my finger. Oh, whoops. I'm not supposed to be doing that yet. You didn't see that. I didn't, <laughs> didn't see anything. Oh. Actually, that could work. Maybe. And I'm having that moment too. No, this one. Okay. Card. I'm ready. Okay. Now you see it. It doesn't matter. Doesn't match up oh, anyway. Right. Um, I already have mine. Oh, yeah. This okay. is the last one of the hand. There. Okay. I think this is it. Everybody, or I'm still you. choosing. Yep. Okay. I'm just, hold on. Hold on. What a great we? sound. <laughs> <laughs> Justin and his sounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good band I don't name. Talk. I just no. I just, I just make. There's a thing that noises. Justin on Dungeness Dorks. This weird ass sound that that you made. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you good to go? Alright. I'm good. Alright. So, holy wow, gingerbreads and candies. I got a few. Yeah, you do. You're going like straight up end game scoring. Hopefully it works, because I'm losing. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean no. Yeah, like you, you can you no. Know, you can explode in points though. That'll that's gonna be interesting. Okay. So it anyway, sure will. I'm taking more gingerbreads than I should. There's a reason for it. Um, but right now, I'm sure it looks awful because I'm not even putting them in the middle of the tree. I'm putting them at the edges where I can't possibly complete them. But I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Um, so same color, same shape, up and down from each other. I only have two. I also have two. I also have two. Three. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we get 12 points. You get, yeah, so the, the circles, the two stars, circles, and the circles. circles. 
Well done. Yep, so 18 points for you. So 26 plus 18 is 44. And then we all get 12. So uh, 28 plus 12 I'm is the uh, 40. The and day. then 26 plus 12 is 38. And then uh, 18 plus 12 is 30. Question. Yes? Why do I get 12 if I only did that twice? Ah! I was multiplying by 6. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, instead of by 4. Undo everything. Undo. All right, no, 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 no. Undo I just everything. need to take two points away for each one that you scored. So just subtract six from you, right? And then subtract. Four. You do the snake. This, this thing confuses me. Okay. So <laughs> we just need to subtract four from us. One, two, three, four. That was one, subtracting. Two, three, four. Yes, it is. It's going from forty backwards. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we need to subtract six from you because you had you had three times. Yes. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Ha. <laughs> Brian okay. has repaired his disgrace. Or did he do? All I was that multiplying by six instead of four. <laughs> it was all a setup. Math is hard. Okay. Cool. So uh, stars. I have four. Same. Same. Uno. Okay. Oh. So one point for orange, and then four points. One, two, three, four. Wait, that was there. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then all of us that are at four get six points. So one, two, three, four, five, six. What color am I? Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's stars. Circles, I have four. I have two. I have six. I have two. Okay. So let's just start with Justin. So six so points. I can just do a listen to me really quick. Oh, okay, you both had two. Yeah. I have six. One could say I'm running circles so, around you guys. So you'll get 12 total because <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get six for this and then six more for having first. So you'll go from 48 to 60. <laughs> I correct myself. And then I get the bonus Clearly. three points because I'm at second. So four plus three is seven. So the game is actually shaping to where I don't think I'm going to have to adjust my plans too much. It looks like my board is, is looking the way I want it to look and in going into the last round with what I plan on playing in order to squeak that dub out. Well, boys and girls, for those of you at home who don't get slang, a dub is short for a W, which is also short for a win, which is what I'm about to take. Dub. Um, so 44 plus seven is 51. Okay, so that's circles. And then the spirals. I have one, two, three, four, five. Six. Woof! I have two. Does my zero count as a circle? I guess that's Sorry. a no. What? What? No. You what? mean as a spiral? Spiral? No. Does my zero spirals count? It's a math uh, joke, okay, you okay. guys. <laughs> it's a math joke. But they're no. spheres, they're not circles. You've been calling them circles. I have circles. been calling them circles. You can probably roll a tape back on that one. I have been calling them circles. All right. Fact check. Um, <laughs> Fake news. Fact check. Fade to black. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, you said you have one, two, two. Sorry, just trying to take points away from you. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you are, I'm but I'm totally scared. Nothing you do is going to change that. Um, and then you you said you had six. Mm -hmm. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I have five. I said one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Uh, five for yellow, so one, two, three, four, five, and then you have zero, mm -hmm. and then you get six more points uh, mm -hmm. for having the most, so you're orange, so yes. 51, and then I get three more, one, two, three. Okay, so that's round two scoring. Every year, me and my moms, we go really hard on our Christmas tree, like it gets super decorated up. It's like a massive tree, and then we put like this village underneath it and have a train going around. It's real extra but I love it. Uh, we also, we, every Christmas Eve, we all get together, we watch movies, we play all kinds of board games. I tried to play The Resistance with my family, but their gaming knowledge is zero out of 10, so that didn't go well last year, so maybe I'll bring something different this year. Usually on Christmas Eve, the entire Spangle family gets together at my grandma's place, but she passed away earlier this year, so the 30 of us or so should be meeting at one of my aunts and uncles places, and then usually around New Year's, I see my mom's side of the family uh, up north, and we drink a lot and play a lot of games, like Farkle and Flippy Cup and Beer Pong. I thought my... Uh... 
It's been an odd My dad joke too. was going to get groans, <laughs> but it didn't. It just got silence. <laughs> Dead silence. All right, Daddy's going to use two cookies right now. Already? Yeah. Like, okay. That's two cookies. I don't know which one do these. I'll discard mine there, too. Yeah, you can look at that before. I don't I, I okay. know what I'm doing. Same. Don't. <laughs> there's, Same. No, there's no reason to look. I don't know which one is which. Oh, that's going to be confusing. There we go. That's fixed. Yeah, just put your scoring in there. So everybody's chosen a scoring. So yeah, yep. scoring for this round. Let me see, Jonathan. Oh my God, so who's helping Jonathan? Who's Who, helping Jonathan? Who put that? <laughs> yes, There's who's helping someone? Jonathan? Yes. Thank you, helping Jonathan. Who put the gingerbread candy in there? Oh. Plot twist. I put both of them in. That's impossible. Impossible. Okay, so well, I guess if uh, gingerbreads are next to each other or on top of each other, uh, which I guess is still next to each other, um, six points. It's getting a little steamy in here. You know, I don't want to and then, um, rat anybody out, but uh, next to each other was one of the, the other one. That was yeah. There. So Jonathan, was helping, John, Jonathan played the ups this and downs. One or helping you, this one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. What? Like why? Why we knew. We knew that the gingerbreads was going to help Jonathan, and that's what he was seeking to drop the bomb. And instead of helping me, she chose to help Jonathan. That is two games in a row where someone has actively worked against me to help Jonathan. So the other card I had that wouldn't have helped Jonathan was a greens only score. So all green ornaments on the board would have scored. I had one green ornament on my board, and the hands were pretty slim, as I could see. And Justin had all green ornaments, so I was like, between the two, which is going to help me more? Gingerbread men. All right, so uh, same. this has to be same color and same shape, though, um, on this? opposite ends of the board. So, uh, as of right now, Justin, Shh, don't you, Justin don't played you that card. Don't worry about this Because he's got the stars on him. Don't you worry about my who, tree, you still. Who, um, who played that card? And then who having uh, three of the, uh, one of each color in a row, which I don't know who played that card. Shut up. All right, it's time to play the game. Are we playing to win the game, guys? You don't play to just play it. What? The uh, sports joke. You wouldn't get it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Brian. I mean, let's call, a, get it. let's call a spade a spade. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Justin needs something else, but he's Justin not going to take it. He's going to leave it to the gods. Talking the third person. He's going to leave it to the gods. That it will come around. Justin refers to himself in the third person because Justin is omnipresent. Thus... I should be narrating everything that's going around. Oh, I f***ed it up. I don't want that, but I kind of do. Jonathan's in a bit of a fix. It gives me more points this way. <gasps> oh, I'm stupid. I didn't have to do that. Yes. Are we flipping? Flipping. Sure. Flippity, flippity. Okay, so I don't flipping. know where to put this. Yay! Thank you. <laughs> Just a little encouragement. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it there. I think I'm gonna use one of my weird cookies. It starts with an L. Linzer. Linzer. Sounds like Windsor. Yes. Yes, it does. I, I, I'm not sure why I said that out loud, but you've said some weird stuff out loud this game too, so I think it's fine. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Not about me saying weird things, I remember that. Fun fact, Windsor is the name of a knot no you can tie in it. No cares! That's true. Crap. We can play a cookie at any crap, time, crap, correct? Crap. Yes. Yeah, okay. as long I'm as we're not play scoring. Crap. A cookie right now. Crap to the highest and degree of crap. Flip. It's a pretty high degree. I'm gonna flip these I two. might as well get this out of the way too, because I need to do this. Good? Mm-hmm. Home stretch. I'm gonna use a cookie. Use it. Guys, I... I'm gonna use a cookie too. I I think I win. <laughs> Shut up. 
Oh, it's gonna be quite a final scoring round. Hooray. Yep. Jesus. The tension just went up about like 90% in the yeah, room Yeah, I'm right sorry, now. jeez. <laughs> To, to the point where I was like thinking yeah. back and thinking, wow, that, that was pretty uncool to say, Jonathan. <laughs> Maybe you should be a good sport once in a while. See if you like it. You friends can... are overrated. Yeah. <laughs> Who needs friends when I've got all these victory points? That's my next tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding you to that. It's on camera. That's fine. I'm probably never going to get a tattoo. <laughs> So it can hypothetically uh, be my next one, forever. I guess, yeah. Technically speaking. No one saw that. Correct, I didn't. Already? Close. No. Because <sighs> I'm bad at this game. I wouldn't be too sure, brother. Uh, okay. He's gonna get so many points. Mm-hmm. He's not going to complete a lot of his gingerbreads. Oh, absolutely not. That has not been my goal for really any You're going to just get a lot of from those, but... My main goal for the whole game is just to have a huge point burst come out of my final objective card. If that doesn't carry me into first, I don't think anything will. And so I'm not really as worried about the gingerbreads. I'm just putting them where I can make them stack higher for that card. Anything else? All right, everybody good? Mm -hmm. I'm good. All right, Yugi, we're gonna leave it to the heart of the guys. Where do I want that to be? Where do I want this to go? I'm placing this wherever I want this to go. That is really not a good spot for him. Okay. All right, yep. I guess this is technically the best spot, just in case. I'm gonna use my Linzer cookie right now just so that I can um, do that. I'm gonna kill my final one, too. Card three cards. Uh, just there's no way to orient that. I don't even know if the mic is picking up your heart of the cards mantra. It's not. Well, I'm picking it up, and it's beautiful. We're all feeling it. We're all feeling the love. I'm, yeah. getting, I'm getting a little antsy now. I believe in you for you. Okay. I don't need you to believe in me. Good, because I was being a little facetious, <laughs> to be totally honest. <laughs> All right, you guys. Ready? You yeah. Go Second to last. Camp. Oh, man, oh, man. No. Well, yep, yeah, nope, nothing. Yeah. Actually, wait. <gasps> okay. Haha. -ha. Haha. -ha. That kind of works. It certainly does. Yeah, more points. I'll have to use a Linzer cookie, but more points. So there's not a lot of spaces left on the board, and I'm trying to get as many of the same color, same shape opposites of each other, and I was only handed like three cards, and luckily one of those cards is exactly what I needed. Oh, why am I giving yeah, that to you? I was like, what? <laughs> You're like, okay. And then swapping that. Oh no, I switched the wrong ones, my bad. What I meant to do, I can't remember what I meant to do. Why did I use my last Linzer cookie? Mm -hmm. There must have been a reason. Maybe not. I, I don't know if I can handle that kind of disappointment <laughs> right now. Um, oh, I know why. It's because I was thinking two thoughts at once and they're both wrong, but I think it's still worth it if I, well, I mean, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But I did! <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, final scoring. <sighs> Which objective do you want to do first, Jonathan? You know, let's save best for last. We're going to start with this one. Okay. Um, so I get 5, 10, 15, 20 points. Woo! I have wow. uh, 5, 10. So 20 points for yellow. And then you said you had 10? Oh, yeah. So 10 points for orange. Justin, you have five. I only have two. Which one? Oh, wait. You one. only have the yellow stars, yep. so yeah, five points. Oh, I screwed that up. Uh, so five points for whatever color. this color is. Pink oh. is what we're calling it. 
Um, and then Jonathan? Zero, but I'm living on a prayer. Okay. Which one would you like next? Oh, that one. You. Okay. Uh, I have two yellows, two greens, and two purples in the bottom row. I have a yellow, green, and purple in that row. I have a yellow, green, and purple in that row. Sometimes you really frighten me. <laughs> <laughs> so one, two, three, four times six is 24. Uh, I think I only have it once. Uh, so I have it once. one plus 24 is 103. So you... I did it twice. So 12 points for you, and then you... Did I did it only once. Just once? Yeah. I also did it once. Okay, so six points for orange. Um, so 67. And then you did it once. Mm -hmm. So um, 38 plus 6 is 44. Okay. Okay, well, here we go. Let's do the horizontal one first. Yeah. Uh, I have zero. A gentleman's zero. I have mm -hmm. three. Zero. So that's, yeah, one, two, three times six. So that's 18 points for orange. I've got five. That's 30 points. That's 30 points. Uh, <laughs> and now, Still in last. Still in last. Uh, I get this once, so yay, six points. So I'm at 109. I get six, too. I have uh, it four times, so one, two, three, four. Nice. I also have it four times. Uh, you have it three times, because oh, this gingerbread can't be counted. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so that's, that's 18. Good catch. That's 18 points. Um, so that's 18 plus 85 is 103, so let's get your 100 token out there. Did we move Justin already? No. So we need to get you your 6? Yes. Okay, uh, what is Then it? I got 24. Oh, okay. It's not, see, it's not the end of the world, it's fine. But now we have to add all of my gingerbread and candy points. Please. Uh, 24 plus 74 is 98. Cool. We should probably count bulbs first. Mm -hmm. Sure. So and just be very careful with this because like this is tough like because of the the shapes of them like because you got to count the bottom of this card and the top of this card so just count your completed bulbs. I'm not even counting by cards. Two, I'm just going three, by the rows of bulbs. Four, nine, ten, eleven, nine, thirteen, eight. Okay, so I, told I said you I didn't uh, have a lot. <laughs> eleven. Um, so I get twenty-two points. Uh, so 109 plus 22 is 131. You said you got 13. Mm -hmm. So that's 26 plus 103 is 129. You're like two points behind me. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not feeling good right now. Wow. I'm pretty surprised right now. I'm so close to Brian, and especially considering I've never played this game before and he owns the game. So I feel pretty good right now. Um, you got nine. Uh, so 18? Yes. So 18 plus 85 is 103. Everyone jumps onto 103. That's like the starting spot for that, uh, except for Jonathan. Yep. Yeah. I had eight, so that's 16, 16 plus 98 is 114. Okay. All right. Um, then we want to do uh, snowflakes? Yeah, just kind of. Uh, just now, that, just and, including your candies. Including so candies. Including okay. the candy <clears throat> value of your snowflakes. So count the snowflakes on your ornaments as well as candies. 29. 31. 33. Sorry. Uh, third. Mm. I'm sorry. I have a lot. Um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 22, 28, 32, uh, plus 3, 35. What he said. So uh, 35 plus 114 is 149. Yes. Um, I was 33, so 131 plus 33 is 164. And oh, then... jeez. I've still got I a lot of ground 31. to cover. Huh? You said you had 31, right? Mm -hmm. So 129 plus 31 is 160. She's, she's going to win this with those gingerbreads. And then, Justin, you were... 29. So 103 plus 29 is 32. Okay. All right. Um, I only get 18 points for my gingerbread because I do have the circle, the candy, the... Spiral and star, so I get 18 mm -hmm. points. Okay. So my grand total, 18 plus 64 is 82. 182? I get 18. 18 for you, so uh, 32 plus 18 is 150. This gingerbread's four points. This gingerbread uh, only has the star, so that's another four okay. points. This one only has the yellow, so 12 points. 12 points. So 60 plus 12 is 172. Okay, my heart's beating. 
I have a lot of points to go if I'm going to catch up and win this game. And the objective card did not give me as many points as I was hoping I would. I actually got more from Alyssa's card than from mine. So if I'm going to win, it's going to be by accident. All right, I'm going to go top left to bottom right because I've got five gingerbread. So I have the spiral and the wrapped candy. So that's eight points for the first one. Eight. Uh, do we want to just add it as we go? For uh, dramatic effects, also so I don't forget. Okay, okay, so <laughs> eight points. Yep. Uh, so you're at... Isn't his marker the other one? Nope, nope. it's that one. So 49 plus 8 <laughs> is sure. 57. Yep. Next one, I That's finished this entirely, so 18, yeah. Um, so 57 plus 18 is 75. And then this one, I completed two, so, so that's, that's eight another eight. Points. So that's 83, which is already one point ahead of me. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and then two more. Um, two here, so, so that's another eight, eight. And then one on the final one so for four, so 12 more. 80, what, what, eh. 12 from where you are 12 right total. Now. Yep. Okay. Five. Well done. Yeah! <laughs> I got scared for a second there. <laughs> Heavy gingerbread strategy. <laughs> Heavy gingerbread. God, I hate losing. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. I'm not gonna sleep till Christmas. It's because I, I just built around the objective card that had the vertical placement. Yeah. And I just took like high wrapped candies and mm -hmm. gingerbread whenever I could. Mm -hmm. I was I, I kept that three different colors on the same row from the beginning of the game. Yeah. I had so. the I had the gingerbread men in linemen, and then I saw what you were doing. I was like, like yeah. I, I was gonna try and get like three colors in this row, but since I already had a candy here, I'm like, might as well get the six points for the gingerbread and then get a full gingerbread. Totally, yeah, yeah, so. totally. Cool. This is a super fun holiday game to play. I honestly, going into it, didn't expect as much strategy planning as I ended up having to do. But the, uh, the world building and the construct of it all, it just ends up being really fun and you make pretty Christmas trees in the end. So, great for the family. I like how this game kind of just builds upon itself. Like, at the very beginning, the first round, you're thinking, okay, this is pretty simple, just placing things down, trying to get these objectives. But come round three, when you've got fewer and fewer spaces and you can't move anything except with those very valuable Linzer cookies, it becomes a real brain burner and it's a lot more thinky than you would think, I think. Good times. Congratulations, Jonathan. Thank you. Uh, are you the... F I don't, I don't want to say because uh, I'm like, are you the first t double winner in this? But I don't want to know about Woodlands because I, I don't know, even though the episode will already be out by the time this is shown. So, all right. Well, that was Christmas Tree by Clever Green Games. Thank you very much for joining us here at Crazy Board, and we'll see you next time.